Milan Lucic, possibly one of the few left from a previous era of a much more brutal game than today's. And as you would expect, throughout his career, this Stanley Cup champ has never shied away from a good fight. Okay, there was like that one time with Colt Noor way back, but we won't go there. Regardless, Lucic, while handing it to other players, has also taken his fair share of pushback over the years on ice. In this video, I'm going to highlight the times that the power forward got it handed to him. And with that, here are the top five times that Milan Lucic was destroyed. During the second period of a 2010 regular season game against the Montreal Canadiens, things as you would expect among better rivals got pretty heated. And the catalyst that caused the chaos was a hit that Canadians forward at the time, Andre Kostitsin, decided to lay on Lucic as he was retrieving the puck along the boards. The hit itself immediately took Lucic by surprise as he was blindsided on the play by Kostitsin's shoulder. Not long after, as Lucic was gathering himself, teammates Blake Wheeler and Zdeno Chara confronted the perpetrator before Lucic himself let Kostitsin know that he disapproved as well. Kostitsin was given a minor penalty for interference on the play. And yet another player that Lucic saw quite a lot of while playing for the Boston Bruins, Alexei Boom Emelin, had quite a few run-ins with Lucic while the two played in the same division. While some altercations went better for Lucic, this one, against the Russian defenseman, didn't exactly work in the forward's favor. In the first frame of play, during a regular season tilt in 2014, as Lucic was attempting to move the puck up at center ice, he was viciously upended by a hip check and was sent toppling down to the ice onto the boards. The play was deemed by officials as a clean hit and therefore no discipline was dealt to the blue liner in result. Possibly the most circumstantial of them all, Lucic in this instance pretty much walked right into it. Or fell, I should say. Anyways, this hit, if you want to call it that, took place during a regular season game in New Jersey back when Andy Green was still a devil. As Lucic, you saw Green going behind the net to retrieve the puck, he saw it as an opportune time to try and lay the body. Instead of upending the blue liner though, Lucic fell awkwardly on top of Green, who then went to one knee. Lucic, on the other hand, went face first into the boards and, according to the announcer, appeared quite shaken up after basically catapulting himself into the glass. Every Stanley Cup final series is always full of its own unique twists and turns. It's what makes it the most exciting hockey to watch every spring. And it was during Game 1 of the 2011 Stanley Cup Finals that Lucic was feeling the contest's intensity at full force. During the middle frame of play, immediately after Lucic made a quick pass while heading towards the offensive zone, he was abruptly taken out of the play by Canucks defenseman at the time, Dan Hamus who laid an old-fashioned hip check on the forward that sent him flying over directly in front of his teammates at the Bruins bench. Now if you know anything about Milan Lucic, you'll know that this guy rarely shies away from dropping the gloves. In fact, the forward over the years has built quite the reputation for himself on being one of those guys that you just don't want to mess with. But in a regular season game in Columbus, it was Dalton Prout that was brave enough to challenge Lucic to duking it, after a one-on-one -on -one confrontation in front of the net. Directly after attempting to spear Lucic, Prout was shown tossing his gloves and stick aside and dropping Lucic to the ice. While Prout might have done the unthinkable within one punch, Lucic was apparently incensed and attempted to get a jab in before the officials intervened. 